The American lawyer caught up in the same underage sex claims as Prince Andrew has told ITV News no deal was ever done to keep them both out of court. Our correspondent, Lewis Vaughan Jones, spoke to Alan Dershowitz in Florida and he joins us now. Lewis. This is Ocean Drive in Miami. It became the heart of this case today as the high-profile lawyer who lives just down the road, one of the most high-profile in America, was defiant. He said he knew of no evidence against Prince Andrew. However, this is far from the end of the matter. This is the district courthouse in Florida, where a new set of legal papers arrived this afternoon, the latest chapter in an American case that involves a British prince. I categorically deny any contact whatsoever with Jane Doe 3 or any other Jane Doe. It's claimed Alan Dershowitz, along with Prince Andrew, had sexual relations with an underage girl. Woman Jane Doe number 3 uh, made the false allegations that I had had sexual contact with her. I had had no sexual contact, no contact of any kind with her. I don't know her. He told me he had no reason to believe that Prince Andrew behaved inappropriately. He also said that despite earlier reports, the prince would not have immunity from any prosecution. No, uh, there's no possibility that he would have immunity. He was not a co-conspirator with Jeffrey Epstein. If he did what they allege he did, and I have no reason to believe that, he'd be subject to prosecution. He's not a beneficiary of any immunity any more than I would be a beneficiary of any immunity. Prince Andrew has left his winter holiday in Switzerland and is now back in the UK. He maintains his innocence. The Duke of York has been a long-standing friend of an American businessman called Jeffrey Epstein since the 1990s. He was jailed in 2008 for abusing underage girls in Florida. Despite this, the pair remained close. Virginia Roberts, pictured here with the Prince 15 years ago, claimed in court documents last week that she was one of Epstein's teenage victims. She also alleged she'd been forced to have sex with the Prince in London, New York and the Caribbean. But some lawyers say no evidence has been given to the court to back up these claims. A judge in Florida will now consider the court papers. This is not a criminal proceeding, and Prince Andrew is not on trial. But it will remain deeply uncomfortable for a man at the heart of the royal family. Lewis Vaughan Jones, ITV News, Miami. Our royal editor, Tim Ewart, joins us now. Tim, what will Prince Andrew make of these latest legal developments? Well, we heard Lewis talking there about another chapter, and I think, to be honest, that Prince Andrew and his advisers and his legal team have all been talking to each other privately today. I think they're pretty resigned to there being a lot more chapters in this, and I think probably they're not commenting on these latest developments, but I think they'll feel that one more court proceeding isn't really going to make much difference because this story shows at the moment no sign of going away. Insiders, I think, will welcome any challenge to the credibility of the woman who's at the centre of these accusations. So in as much as that's happened today, I think they will welcome this. One piece of support we've had for Prince Andrew, Andrew came from his ex-wife, Sarah, Duchess of York, and she described him with typical understatement, as a great man. Tim, thank you very much.